Hidden Gems of DFW is a video podcast to help marketing professionals as well as newbies learn the art of marketing and finding the treasures that help a small business grow. This podcast will be filled with gems and treasures in the DFW area from some of the best guests in the business. And even if you are not in the DFW area, these treasures will work for you. And now get ready for the Hidden Gems of DFW podcast with Chris O'Connor. Welcome to Hidden Gems of DFW video podcast. I'm Chris O'Connor, your host, and I am so excited to be here today. I have got a creative marketing genius, expert. That's right, a creative marketing genius. And I am so excited to introduce you to her. Her name is Donna Bender. And her company is the Donna Bender Company. Welcome, Donna. Thanks so much, Chris. I really um, love your platform. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, I'm so excited that you're here today. We're just going to chat away and have a good time in the show today. Um, She is a creative marketing genius, and she has great ways that she's going to share with us. But first of all, what I want you to do is tell me where you started from and how you arrived at the Donna Bender Company and doing what you're doing. It's a very interesting story. Uh, it always is. <laughs> it's, it's like, what? Um, I majored in speech pathology in, in college, uh-huh. and I couldn't get a job when I graduated because the schools were oversaturated with teachers. So a cousin of mine called me up. He's worked for the city, and he said, how would you like to get a job in the apparel industry? And I went, well, I like clothes. And he said, okay. And I went out on an interview, and I got a job. And I can't even tell you how much they paid, you know. And plus, I had to buy the train, um, the week, the monthly train pass. Anyway, I had a girlfriend who called me from a payphone. <laughs> I know that dates us. Yeah. Shh, don't listen to that part, people. Um, and Do you she, know what a payphone is? <laughs> and she said, um, and my first job is where I met um, my ex husband. That, and so um, she calls me up and she said, Calvin Klein is looking for salespeople. And I said, Calvin, who? And she goes, <laughs> Calvin Klein. I said, well, why aren't you talking to them? She goes, I don't have any sales experience, and they only want to talk with people of experience. So I applied for the job. I mean, I I applied to come in, and here I am going, what what do you wear to a, you know, to an interview like that? So, um... Calvin Klein, maybe? (laughs) Yeah. Well, it was, you know, I just got out of college, and this is, you know, we're talking expensive. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. (laughs) I do know. So, um... I met with, at that time, the sales manager, and she said, okay, I'll get back to you. Well, I didn't hear from her. And long story short, I called seven times. And on the seventh phone call, she got on and she said, okay, you have the job. If you could call me seven times to get an answer, you could do that with clients too. Wow. (laughs) Lucky seven. Lucky seven. And um, so I was there for almost nine years, and I just grew from having the worst, I had the worst um, accounts because everybody gave me their problem child. So everyone was a problem. Um, But I worked up to become one of her assistants and then I became the merchandise manager and then I became vice president. And um, he started another company, hired all the people from Ralph Lauren and um, we were like, you know, we could do better. Anyway, it didn't work. He then hired my boss to be president of both companies and me to be vice president of both companies. It, it was awesome. Um, it was a great experience. And um, the, the are you familiar with Halston, the yeah. one that's on, on Netflix? Yes. Okay. That was the error. That was the era when he used to go to Studio 54. Mm-hmm. That was around the time period. Okay. So uh, anyway, um, uh, but working at Calvin Klein, another friend went over to Fa- uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, and he said, how would you like to come over here? And he said, I need somebody to run the women's division. So I decided to go, and I was there for three days and wound up in Milan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I look back, and, there were, and they had frescoes on the ceiling and on the walls. Yeah. And when I, when I look back, I, I wish I could make a movie of that era in my life because 
there's nothing like that experience because oh, I, I, can't even I you know I'm, Calvin Klein is a celebrity and the Ferragamos were like royalty you know it was it was awesome but I wanted to have a child and so I told my husband at the time I said I can't do this anymore I got to get off the bandwagon I was like you know high high risk well. Luckily, I got pregnant and uh, had my daughter, and I just didn't want to go back there. So if I got a, a friend of mine who was working at Calvin Klein. I said, can you take my position? And so I, it was just a smooth transition because I felt so bad leaving them. Um, and then one day I was in Bloomingdale's looking for kids' clothes, didn't like what I saw. So I created a children's clothing line. And I got, I put the whole thing together, the concept in the shower of, Love it. of how Love I was, it. of how I was going to do it. And uh -huh. it was at the time baby gap was starting. And, um, so I, it was hats and socks and either a onesie or a two piece outfit all packaged together. Cause they couldn't buy the, they couldn't buy gap. It was a no brainer. And um, I got one of my uh, graphic artists and um, uh, merchandisers from Ferragamo. He came over, and uh, my husband was doing sales. And the, it, 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 it was awesome. I mean, I, I, you can't do this now. I made dolls. I blew up my daughter's holding on standing. The only time she stood, she was six months old. And I blew up these dolls, I, I laminated them, I had, he drew the outfits, and I had Velcro, and I went on appointments with the dolls and the outfits to, oh to say, will you, you know, do you want to back this, can you, you know, um, right. and so the choice came at that time to go with a big shark that had, a, that was in the kids industry, so you'll be another belt, you know, notch on the belt. Or you uh, go with someone who wants to get into kids. And so we chose the latter. And um, they made, they, they manufactured it out in Turkey. So unfortunately, they weren't in kids. So we used to have to send everything, like the grippers for the snaps on the onesies. We had to send, send the materials over there. Um, but it was great. And, and, um, so I didn't pay for anything except, you know, we weren't making anything. And then I did find another vendor to make samples. So I had actually wound up with a sample line that he then could go and get the backers. And that's how we went and found the one we, that we went with. And because of my experience with Calvin Klein and Ferragamo, I was able to talk to Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's and, and where I got the idea. Um, and so we wound up in Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus wow. and, and, and specialty stores around the country. That is so cool. Yeah, it was, um, it was, it was an interesting time. And um, it was like a baby to me with my baby. I met my little baby at the time, she was well dressed. because right. It was fun. She was my model. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you uh, had the perfect model. Yep. Yeah. So it, it was great. And um, it, it was a, it was a great, uh, time. And then I um, went to, I, I wanted to do something else. Um, long story short, I had to, um, I had to stop the company. And um, so I needed to do something else. And I was really tired of working so hard. Mm -hmm. So I have always been practicing the healing arts. It was always, I always did it even, you know, throughout everything. So I decided I was going to start teaching Reiki because I was a Reiki master. Mm -hmm. And then I wound up doing seminars because you couldn't call it Reiki because nobody knew. It was like yoga. Nobody knew what yoga was, you right. know, and now it's like you, all you see is yoga. So um, I had to call it um, to learn how to breathe. So, so, you know, when, when the um, corporations were hiring me, um, you know, um, I, I could say meditate, but I couldn't say Reiki because right. they would. So I, that's what I did. I went to Yale. I remember that. That was a foreign word. And I remember when somebody approached me about that Reiki, I was like, but, but I loved the result. Yeah. So keep talking. So it, it, it the, um, making the decision to go into the natural healing arts 
was what saved me. Um, because that was the same time that I was getting a divorce from my ex-husband, and it was a high-conflict divorce, and he wanted he put in for sole custody. I mean, it was it was, and so I, at least I had the Reiki to help balance me. It was awesome, that part. Um, and then um, I had to concentrate on the uh, case, the custody case. I, I won sole custody of my daughter. So you can imagine how that went. Yes. And, um, and then it was, you know, rekindling the relationship with my daughter because, you know, what happens. And I decided that I was going, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had to concentrate on her and I decided I wanted to go back into kids. I didn't want to go into, because I love kids. So I worked for uh, several uh, children's wear companies, uh, director of um, marketing, and um, I was working for one. And and my the last job, I um, I left to move here. My significant other at the time thought he had a great opportunity here, and I was like, okay. You know, I couldn't even believe myself. You know, I had blinders on. There was no one that was going to tell me. I couldn't do it. I did the same thing with my kids' clothing company. I wasn't going to allow that naysayer to come in. And um, I gave, I, I left my family, I left my friends, I left my career, and moved to Dallas. I didn't know a soul. Didn't know one person except my daughter and my significant other. Well, it turned out he, I wanted to focus on her. I, she was going into 10th grade. Uh, two weeks later, she says, Mom, I really love it here. I wish we lived here my whole life. I went, oh, so glad I made that decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a tough one. And I, it was probably because she got was allowed to get into cars with 16-year-olds that could drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have great life here. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Or boys. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, excuse me. Um, turns out, he did not have a job here. He wasn't going to get that job. And so then I was like, okay, now what am I doing? So somebody mentioned um, the promotional products industry. And I, I was like, and this is when promotional products were really starting to be given out like at the beauty counters, you know, when you got a tote. That was like when they first started doing it. And I wasn't sure how it was going to work, and I was like, Ugh. but then I thought if I could get products that represented more of the brands I worked for and my taste level, then maybe I would do it. And so that's what I did. I, I went into a business I didn't know, in an industry I didn't know, in a city I didn't know, 360 degrees different from everybody else because everybody would you know pick this up and say, you have to buy this water bottle and call all of their accounts and get orders. It just wasn't me. Um, I'm a relationship person. I love to build relationships and I had to. I didn't know anyone. So I'll never forget my first um, networking group. And I'm thinking, how am I gonna be valuable to this group? I don't know at all. So I joined another one and then would have one-on-ones with everybody. So I was building up my mental Rolodex so when I would talk to somebody and they'd tell me what they did, what they're looking for, I could contact someone else because I didn't need their service. And that's what I did. That's I, my network, you know, I won Networker of the Year in one of my um, networking companies. You know, it, it, it was just, that was one of the, my parts of my business, you know, it was networking. And, um, so I, I've been in this all that time. I've met some great people. Um, I, do enjoy, I do enjoy doing it. I, um, I decided that there, you know, because I had a very unique kind of um, business experience. I was like, I, I'm not going to like die just, just selling promotional products. Right. So um, in January, a friend of mine posted a Facebook challenge about building your Facebook um, list through social media. And I was like, okay, I'll do this. 
Well, I've been in the program since um, January, and I'm in the process of, of launching um, a webinar um, in the hopes of being able to teach. And my, the whole, my whole being of what I want to do, it's called the give method. It's growing your sales by giving more. And, you know, I'm a big, I, I get like emotional when I say that. That's okay. Um, that means that you have a passion for it and you're excited about it. And I want to hold you on that. I want you to hold for a moment because, oh my God, did I tell you we have a creative genius here? <laughs> we have a creative marketing genius. There are things I didn't even know. I am so excited, but we're going to take a quick break. And we will back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Donna Bender. And many people have been asking me why I wanted to uh, talk more and, and educate people more about the GIVE formula, which is how to build your business by giving more. And the reason it is so, so near and dear to my heart is that especially now with the way our society has been, it's so important to show our appreciation to people and say thank you for what, for being in our lives, for, for just staying with us while we were all having trying times. And I have found that this method of showing appreciation and giving to clients has proven to work really well for me. And I've also used it on other clients. And so, when I give gifts and people will post it on social media or they'll send me an email or they'll write a text or send me a thank you note or call me, that to me is the greatest gift that I could receive. And I want my clients to experience that same feeling that when they give to their clients because their clients are feeling good, they're feeling good and it's a wonderful feeling. And there's nothing better than to feel appreciated. So I have this opportunity to put a masterclass together next month and want to be able to share this with more people. So I hope you'll join me on November 18th for the GIVE formula, how to build your business by giving more. And I, more information will be coming and I hope to see you there. Bye for now. Hi everyone, we're back at Hidden Gems of DFW video podcast, and I'm Chris O'Connor, your host, and we have a creative marketing genius with us today. I learned so many cool things about her. I had no idea. I had no idea. So now we're going to continue chatting with uh, Donna Bender from the Donna Bender Company, and she's going to tell us about the Donna Bender Company, and she's going to hopefully help give us a few tips on what you can do to implement in your business today. Tell us. Well, um, currently, what I'm going to share and the tips I'm going to give is what I'm actually doing. Um, I've decided to uh, create another arm for my business, which is about giving. And, and, and I'm creating this course of, with of how to give the right gift and, you know, the method behind it and how it will help you grow your business. Because... I, I don't sell, but I also give out 200 gifts during the year and the phone calls and the emails and posting it on social media. And it, 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 I feel so good when that happens. And I want my clients to feel the same thing. And you can, if you, you know, follow this method of giving, giving gifts. I mean, so it's a, it's a process. And certain things that you need to know about your clients. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, a lot of people want the quick fix. But, you know, the whole point is to get it, get them and even their salespeople into this method so that they could go away, they could go away on a trip and they'll still be getting orders in because of, you know, the gift was, the gift is going out. It's all in how you make people feel. Oh, absolutely. Okay. When you make somebody feel really good about, whatever it is that they do or their kids or their family, their wife, or, you know, when people are recognized, they, it makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. But I want to follow up with something mm -hmm. that I learned a long time ago. When people give you a compliment, say thank you. Mm. 
Say thank you. Instead of. Oh, instead uh, of. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't deserve that. I don't, you know, whatever. Whatever thing that you talk down about yourself, don't do that. Please don't do that. I learned that a long time ago. When you say thank you, that means the world to the other person. Mm -hmm. Because when you degrade and say bad things about yourself, that hurts the other person. What do you think? Oh, you're, you're yeah. It's, I, I feel that saying thank you also makes you feel good because somebody just complimented you. So you should feel good, and now you're thanking them, which makes them feel good. That's that law of reciprocity. But, um, you know, it's just, I, I'm a big believer in giving value first. In um, That's how I grew my promotional products business was because I kept giving gifts to my clients, and then they became clients, and then they bought the gift that I gave them. And I wasn't I wasn't planning on that, but it was, it, it, I wasn't planning on it to really, really work. So I decided to start this other part of my business, which would be about um, gifting. And so, because I'm very passionate about that. So one tip is you have to be passionate about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, because if somebody tells you, oh, you should go and do this, and you wind up doing it, you're going to hate it and that person for telling you. So um, you must follow your passion. And, um, and there are several ways to do that while you're still working. It's not like give up your job now and follow your passion. It's right. no, it's you're going to have to do some work on the side to create that business because mm -hmm. that's paying you. Correct. you know? Otherwise, you have no money coming in when you're following your passion. So that's one tip. And then another one is I, this year I learned all about Clubhouse. And Clubhouse is a social media platform, only audio. And it started, it, uh, only, it started with just the iPhone, but now it's Android too. And it is blown up. Oh I mean, gosh, yes. celebrities, um, anybody, you could find any 30 second slot where somebody is talking about something you want to know. And it's fascinating. And I really, because I've been working on getting my webinar intact, in I have about four weeks before I'm going to do it. During those four weeks, I really want to spend more time in Clubhouse and, you know, talking about it because I haven't really used it to build my business. I know people use it so well. So that's another thing. The third thing is what I shared earlier is giving value first. You know, um, you know, you meet somebody for the first time and you're expecting to sell your product, but why should they give it to you? You know, and so I, I've learned that when you can thank someone, when you can show someone how, how meaningful they are to you, how much they mean to you, then um, it's a great bond for relationship. And I had a summit about uh, a month ago with 10 industry experts. And the point of it was all of these are top industry experts in their various fields. One was Jeff Crilly and, and another one was um, um, I had Kim Walsh Phillips, whose course and, and classes I've been taking to, to launch my um, um, webinar. And um, she's like a social media guru, but, and, and, and other people. And why I put those people together was they had a common thread among all of them. They all believed that in order to grow your business, you need to show appreciation to your clients. And give back. Yeah, and give Freely. back. Freely. Right, with no expectations. No expectations. And I tried to do that in the other company I was with. I never wanted to give something to somebody and then expect something back. Never, ever, because I totally agree with what you're saying. The more freely that you give, the more freely you will receive. Um, no strings attached, no ties, no nothing. I mean, I think it's so important. It is. You know, people say, well, what kind of gifts do you get? I have to tell you, I, I have a big gifting campaign that I start delivering and shipping right after Halloween. And I do it because nobody else is giving gifts then. So number one, it stands out. 
And um, I really think of the recipient who's getting the gift, you know, and, you know, they might not have my real logo. They may have a quote like, which I did, who will you inspire today? Message on the product. And I just, my DB, my DB is, you know, it's just a nice icon. Mm -hmm. So I just put my DB on it and that's, and that's all. And I did it on, um, a couple of different things. And it's just, the, it's like, oh, wow, great. You know, I did a word cloud with, you know, positive uh, feelings and it, I put it on a Tumblr and people were calling me up and going, God, Donna, this makes my day because I see these words when I, you know, every day. That is the biggest gift I could get. Um, yes. I, I really, I, I very rarely get a tangible gift. I get the gift of knowing I made somebody else happy. That's so important. That is so awesome. I mean, I can feel your passion. I can see and feel your passion doing this. And it means so much to so many people. I am so excited that I brought this creative genius, marketing genius on today because I think the art of giving is done by so few. Right. And that's why I want to teach a lot of people how to do it. And I think that a lot of people get caught up in, I don't know what to give. I don't, I don't have the money to give. I don't, you know, they, they come up with all these reasons why they shouldn't give. And honestly, you know, over the years, I may not have had money to give to certain causes, but I always gave money. I always did. I gave the $5, the $10, the $20, the $50. Sometimes I gave $100, you know, because it helped You're them. You're a very giving person. Helped them, mm -hmm. you know, but it warmed my heart mm -hmm. knowing that I could touch somebody that day. Mm -hmm. And I never expected anything back, ever. So I'm excited for you, and I hope that I can help you promote this giving. You. Because I think that we do live in a world where... A lot of people just don't understand that concept. Mm -hmm. The more you give, the more you receive. That's right. It's it's a simple, it's so simple, but yet people fight it because, you know, as you said, they don't know what to give. They spent all this money on marketing. They haven't seen results. And I'm telling you, it works. It worked for me and it's worked for my clients that I do on an individual basis. But the reason I want to have the webinar and then a course is to teach more people because especially the last two years, that feeling, that sensation, and that's the feeling I want my clients to have. Well, it lifts the spirits, mm -hmm. right? It, it, it puts them in a different level and a higher level in receiving, right? It just lifts your spirits from maybe down here to up here. Mm -hmm. um, I see you have something hidden back here. So what is yes. this? Let's let's talk about this. What is, no. what is let's, this? Let's, okay, this is, you can pick it up. Um, this is a set of five blocks. And when you put it together, it says your name. And this was a promotional idea when it was originated. And I decided I didn't want to put my name, but I did one for myself so I could see it. But I gave these out to people and I didn't put my logo on it. I said, thank you. And all the words on top have, you know, are all positive words. And the quote um, is from, it, you know, if you, be, if you believe um, uh, building business, if you here, read it, if you believe <laughs> business is built on relationships, make building them your business. Scott Stratton. That's awesome. And he, this is the funniest story. So I gave it to one person. She posted it on social media and she's talking about it and she's connected to Scott Stratton. So he got on the, the, um, the LinkedIn thing. That's awesome. So, um, that and and so to me that right now is is when I'm in that thing is I'm I'm over the next few days I have to come up with what I'm giving this year. So these are different words on this side, and my favorite word is probably in my left hand. Believe, mm. and I forgot my believe sign today, but so it's here. It's here. Yeah. Um, you, you, you know, you have to, I, I sincerely believe that um, 
if you're passionate, if you think of the other person first, if you give value to a relationship, it's going to come back twice, you know, and probably a hundred times. Oh old, yeah. Really? And so, honestly, right. I mean, things will come to you that you never, ever thought would ever come to you, honestly. And, uh, you know, people show up, things show up, money shows up. I mean, all of this shows up by giving from the bottom of your heart unconditionally. Yes. And the opposite happens too. I mean, it's in, it's a whole energy thing. It I is. mean, if, if you have bad juju, you know, that's what you're going to attract. Right. And so people who go through life like that, you know, get cancer. They, you know, not that I, a lot of people get, get cancer, but you know, bad things happen. Yeah. And why do you want to live your life like that? So yeah. If I can, if I can spread the message, the course is called how to, um, double your business by giving more. And, um, I'm hoping I can touch a lot of people, you know, Oh, I think it. you will without a doubt. Thank you. So without a doubt, we have a creative marketing genius here. And I think the course is going to sell like hotcakes and I wish you all the luck. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break right here and now. Next is for our treasure. What is Donna's treasure that she brought to us to share? I'm looking forward to having this little break and getting back. See you soon. I am Chris O'Connor, your host of Hidden Gems of DFW Video Podcast, and we are in our last segment with our creative marketing genius, Donna Bender, and it is, well, almost time to open our treasure chest. She has one more tip that I think is really important to share. So Donna, tell us real quick what this tip is. Well, I can't take I can't take um, credit for it. I have heard it from a brilliant social media guru, Kim Walsh Phillips, because I got into that state where I would say, I can't do this. I just can't do this. And she said to me, no, you have to change your mindset. You can do it. You just have to find the way to do it. And so that totally changed the way I thought about things. You know, maybe it's not this week, maybe I have to stop it and, and do this this week. But in the end, you, you can do it. There's a way. Yeah, there's always a way. There's a solution to every problem, I promise you. I dealt with a lot of challenges at the other company I was at, and I never had the, I can't do it. I found the resolution. It may not have been that particular moment, but anybody can do this. And whatever this this is... So never say, I can't do that because yes, you can. All right. Well, our little treasure is just a little too big <laughs> to come into this uh, treasure chest here, but I'm going to show it. And then she wants me to read it. So it's all about success, success. And what does success mean to you? So this is something that I believe will tell us a little more about this. This is your treasure, not mine. Yes, it 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 is a poem by um, Ralph Waldo Emerson that I found, you know, a long time ago, and I it has been so ingrained in my being that I can't even read it without crying. I can't. I'm like talking about it now, and I'm crying um, because it has nothing to do with what you do every day to make your money. We all work so hard and want to build things, but in the end, there are other things in your life that are more meaningful. You know, you, 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 get, you, you work because you have to, but when you give because you want to, there's a big difference. And so this is called success, and he describes other ways to be successful. 
And how do you describe success? So Ralph Waldo em Emerson describes it as this way, success, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of the intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the beauty in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know that one life has breathed easier because you lived here. This is to have succeeded. Ralph Waldo Emerson. That is awesome. It really is awesome. I love that. I, I, I really do because... It says everything, it says everything. It says everything about what we do. Why we're here. And why we're here. Because if you don't follow these things, no matter what, the critics, the, you know, the friendships, the false friends, the stabbing behind the back, the, I mean, we deal with a lot of things. And as mothers, right, mm -hmm. and as single mothers, our children are our cubs, right? Mm -hmm. And we will protect them at all costs. Life in general. I mean, look at the animals in the world, right? They continue to give, but they protect their own. Mm -hmm. So I think the lesson in all this really is exactly what we talked about. To give is to receive. So on that note, Chris, I would like to give oh. you... That's this so gift. Sweet. Look how pretty this is. Ooh. Look how pretty. It sparkles. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I love the sparkles. My nails match. <laughs> <laughs> That's so pretty. Do I get to open it now? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. And it's wrapped and everything. Let's set that right here. I'm sure uh, the mic is not going to be happy about all this, so I will. <laughs> Look. Look how she... She's got her logo on the back. Simple, simple, simple elegance, which is what I've always thought of you. Simple oh, elegance. Oh, thank you. I I always love giving gifts. I always it's fun, isn't it, it? It is. When the other person's happy that you gave them the right gift, there's nothing better. You know. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, great. <laughs> Just like a kid on Christmas, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I love that. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says, who will you inspire today? Well, I hope I've inspired all of you today. I hope you have been inspired by Donna. So Donna, what I want to do now is... How can people reach you? How can they get in touch with you? Tell us what the best way or all the ways that they can reach you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I love it. I love it, love it. Um, well, the easiest way where you'll find my email address is to go to my website, uh, donnaco.com, D-O-N-N-A-C-O.com. Um, my email address is donna at donnaco.com. And uh, my phone number is on the website as well. Um, and th those are probably, you can Instagram, you ugh, forgot about social media. You, I'm on everything, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Instagram, Clubhouse. So all of those ways, if you would like to connect with me, I'd be happy to. So that's it. All right. Well, <sighs> what a great day it's been today. I um, have really enjoyed this. I hope you have enjoyed this. We have learned so much from Donna today. I hope that you implement and learn. I really hope that you attend her webinar because I think that you will see your business triple, quadruple, whatever, 100 times, 10 times, whatever you number you're looking for, right? I think it's so important for you to... Uh, to attend that webinar. So Thank keep, you. I will post it out there for everybody as soon as I know when it's at. And 
I am just thankful that you are here today. Oh. I learned a lot. And um, I'm going to end my show with um, something I started doing, and it's called, um, well, it's just something I want to say. And I want you to always remember that you are insanely valuable, and despite the labels of doubt that you have about yourself and created by outside people and experiences, that you are worth it. You're worth it. You are and you can do this. Never say the words, I can't. Always say, I can. If you need help, I'm here. I can help you. Connect with me via email, phone call, Facebook, LinkedIn, all the same things as Donna was telling you. We're here to help you grow your business. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye. Thanks for watching and listening to Hidden Gems of DFW with Chris O'Connor. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to connect with me. I love hearing your successes.